our natural environment is being degraded, destroyed, and the pace of those changes is accelerating. Life on our planet is being restructured and threatened on a scale that's hard to comprehend. For the health of our land, ocean, society and future generations, we must form solutions by considering the challenges faced by our planet as a whole. At the University of Plymouth, we embrace and are front runners at this systems thinking approach. We have the breadth of research expertise required to tackle today's challenges. A wealth of experience working across disciplines and sectors and the right philosophy. We're making soils from construction waste to support sustainable land management and soil conservation. Our research on the origin of chemical pollutants entering UK rivers and our creating cost-effective solutions led to our national water industry investing four billion pounds to improve water quality. We coined the term microplastics, which transformed the understanding of plastic waste and our scientific evidence led to the UK ban on cosmetic microbeads. Our real-time storm prediction models inform the National Coastal Flooding Strategy. We co-developed deep-sea habitat classifications and mapping, which are used by the UK government and across Europe to protect marine ecosystems. With our expertise in marine and environmental intelligence, we are continually developing an innovating technology that works across land and sea. A systems thinking approach means we consider both society and the environment. Take plastics. Amongst the first to alert to the scale and harmful impact of plastics in our oceans, today we are working across the whole system. The solutions lie on land, not in the water. If used responsibly, plastics can benefit our society. But we must reduce environmental harm from end-of-life plastics. We are evidencing the sources, pathways and impacts of plastics in our environment. And coming up with potential solutions to address this challenge, including tackling plastic waste at the earliest opportunity, the product design stage. Our pioneering research applies a whole system approach in the real world, nationally and internationally. Collaboratively, we established the Lime Bay Marine Protected Area. This banned damaging bottom-toe fishing methods such as scallop dredging and trawling. Over 10 years, the reef significantly recovered, becoming more resilient to extreme climatic events. Fish populations increased fourfold, supporting local fishers who reported both economic and well-being benefits. Local tourism has been boosted by the abundance and diversity of life below water. And our approach is now informing fisheries management across the globe. In Tanzania, land degradation was threatening the very survival of our communities. Working with natural and social scientists at the University of Plymouth underpinned the co-creation of viable effective solutions to soil erosion. Co-designed bylaws were created and locally enforced grazing regimes were developed to protect severely eroded lands. Strategic planting of trees slowed the runoff of sedimentation and reduced erosion, and a new environmental committee was established ensuring the long-term future of our farmlands. We provided world-leading evidence on ocean acidification caused by rising CO2 levels and work both along coastlines and offshore to protect marine habitats and champion the drive to net zero carbon emissions. We're evaluating nature-based solutions to aid the creation and management of blue carbon. For example, reintroducing seagrass to sequester carbon, stabilise sediment and increase habitat biodiversity. Simultaneously, we are working on offshore renewable energy innovations and technologies that consider much more than a generation of clean energy. We are also exploring ways to minimise the impact of offshore structures on marine habitats and to design offshore renewable energy solutions for the benefit of society and to work in harmony with nature. Coastal marine ecosystems are vital lifelines in the Philippines and Southeast Asia. However, our communities and marine habitats are under extreme pressure from climate change. 
local knowledge, scientific expertise, and research by the University of Plymouth and other partners are delivering marine planning solutions. This will enable more sustainable use of marine resources and protect our precious marine life. Together, we are striving to create a sustainable blue economy for our future. At the University of Plymouth, our ethos is manifested through the Centre for Systems Thinking, Ocean, Land and Society. Working locally and globally, we facilitate and lead collaborations with communities, businesses and governments so that our researchers can continue to provide evidence and facilitate the co-creation of large-scale, lasting solutions that go beyond the symptoms of environmental degradation. Helping to meet the UN Sustainable Development Goals and identify opportunities for the future. And training our students to be the next generation of systems thinkers to continue and advance the quest for sustainable blue-green growth. For healthy oceans, healthy landscapes and a healthy society.